Hello guys, welcome to my channel. The DJI Mavic Mini is finally out and I want to summarize in this video what you get because there are two packages, there is a base and a combo. At the same time, I want to see how accurate the rumors and those gurus on the internet were about the specs of the, of the Mini. Let's have a look at pricing first. The uh, gurus on the internet said that the price would be $399 and it was a surprise. The final price is $349 for the base model and that does include the controller and a few parts and you get also only one battery. The combo is $449 US dollars. So for $100 more, I think it's worth it. You get three batteries, not just one. You get the carry bag, you get the charging hub, you get an 18 watt USB charger, uh, you get prop guards and you get more uh, spare props. So I think the combo is really interesting. Now looking at the resolution, this is where the uh, gurus were wrong. It's not 4K, it's 2.7K. And that makes sense because DJI doesn't want to uh, cannibalize the sales of the Mavic Air, which is more expensive and can do a 4K. So the Mini does 2.7, but the DJI website doesn't say if it's 30 frames per second or 60. My guess is it's probably 30 frames per second. Another area where uh, websites were wrong, the flight time. It's not 15 minutes, and that's a pleasant surprise. Uh, DJI says up to 30 minutes maximum flight time. Imagine that, 30 minutes. In practice, it probably means that you will get around, my guess is, 22 minutes of flight. An area where there was absolutely no guess on the internet, and that's the video transmission. It is four kilometers. Uh, but DJI doesn't give details at this point. Is it Lightbridge? Is it AccuSync? Is it just um, a Wi-Fi like the Mavic Air? So at the moment, uh, there is not a lot of information. Now the people who like to uh, guess specs in advance were right about uh, two things. It has a three-axis gimbal. I thought it would have the uh, Osmo Action camera, the Rock Steady technology, again, to save on weight, but no, it does have a mechanical gimbal and three-axis. This is very good news. It has GPS and also vision sensor. That's probably to help with positioning when you uh, fly uh, indoor, for example, or in low uh, altitude. And finally, the weight, and people were right. It weighs less than 250 grams. Actually, the spec says 249 grams, 249. That's one paper clip short of 250, and that's amazing. So in a lot of countries like Canada, where regulations are very stringent, that will allow people to fly without registration and without having to write the exam to get your pilot license. So this is very good news. But speaking of regulations, you still have to be careful in a lot of countries. For example, Canada, uh, I want to mention this here, and I, I think it's the case in many other countries. Regulation 900.06 says reckless or negligent operation, and that applies for drones below 250 grams of weight. So you still need to uh, to obey uh, part of the Canadian regulations. So guys, uh, finally, just want to say that I did buy the uh, Mavic Mini, actually at, I think it was 905 when I got it from uh, the DJI website. And there were already items that were sold out, like accessories I wanted to buy, and they were sold out at, uh, it was about 910 when I was uh, finishing my uh, checking out. So um, I'll do a video as soon as I get my drone because I want to test mainly two things. I want to, of course, to test the flights and see how the Mavic Mini behaves in the wind. Like very often we have light wind and we would like to be able obviously to fly the Mini in a 10, 15 uh, kilometer uh, wind or 10 miles per hour. I want also to check the material quality. Like I said in the previous video, I hope that the plastic doesn't feel cheap, 
that we have a good quality material for this little drone. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day and safe flying. Goodbye, guys.